Shalom. Kohalo Yahweh Bashim Alashai Bashim Rakak Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered, hopefully elect, that are scattered among the heathen nations around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Akwaf that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolma from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And uh, you have to operate within the spirit. You can't always force things. You have to wait for the spirit. And uh, being patient, I waited for the Lord to give me something that I may edify. And this is it. I was watching this movie. I mean, it's not this movie, but this video that was put up by the uh, the Silver Report Uncut, which I highly suggest that you watch and pay attention to his videos. I have watched this man's videos for years, and he's basically been right in line with us, minus the spirit, minus the, the scriptures. All right, and that's funny, though, how all these economists are now starting to mention God and the Bible and all that sort of thing, because people are coming to the reality that um, the, the world is about to be visited by the Lord, and it, and it has been, all right? That's why everything is falling apart. And it's clear that uh, at this point that uh, America is, is, is covering up the crash of the dollar with this coronavirus and it's crashing systems worldwide because you had don't you can't can't forget that America was in the midst of a retail apocalypse uh, a healthy economy wouldn't have you know 2500 stores uh, and huge companies close in, in two year period you know stores have been closing uh, steadily for like the last uh, four or five years and these last two years it was over 2,500 stores that uh, that closed in America. And, that's a re and some of these stores were, well, or should I say t t companies, because some of these places that shut down have multiple stores, stores all over America, stores around the world. So let's just go to the scriptures. This is uh, Jeremiah 51. And verses uh, 8 and 9. And it reads, actually I'll start at verse 7. Okay. But it says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, or in Yahweh's hand, that hath made all the earth drunken, and the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore the nations are mad, and they are, because the nations have lied in bed, with the whore, with this great whore that sit upon the beast. And not only has it poisoned their their uh, their business doings and their banking systems are all interconnected and failing. Uh, a lot of these, these countries also have watched uh, the LBGT thing take over their, 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 their nations. They've lost control over their women. Um, they've lost if, 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 um, and their culture. Their, their culture, like for example, to, to make you to understand, when you go to when you go to Japan, when was the last time you seen the the prime minister and the men from Japan or China for that matter wear their traditional dress when they come to the UN meetings? They don't. All right, and remember, in order for you to to uh, to deal with commerce via the airways, via, via you know. With with planes, if you have a a, a, a fleet of of, uh, of planes that do business that fly fly back and forth bringing commerce, you know, like you have you you know you have ships and boats as well. But if you have planes, guess what language you need to speak? You need to speak English, and the same thing on the seas. All right, why? Because America was that golden cup that set all these things up. All right, that land of confusion. Verse 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. But see, America can't be healed. And I don't, I don't think 
that this thing is going to pull back a stop. It may slow down a little bit, but it's not going to stop because they're not going to waste this crisis. It's going to be very hard to pull because you already got the Internet and and the just regular citizens saying that they're doing this on purpose, that they're, you know, they just want to make everyone take the chip and that whole sort of thing, which is true. So the public has become very, very informed. I don't do social media, but people that go on social media were telling me that the only thing on, on Facebook and all these major social media platforms is news. That's why the media keeps trying to. I just watched a story that was a, clearly, a, you know, a, a false story, but it, the false story was probably put out falsely and so ridiculous just to, to, to try to uh, save face. To make it look like you only can get your information from Fox, CNN, the major networks. And it was a story where supposedly a bunch of uh, celebrities had been arrested and Oprah had been arrested. And it was like, this is so ridiculous. And, and this is what happens. And, and I believe that that was a false story put out purposely, you know, for that purpose. To try to discredit, um, you know, truthers. To try to, dis to, try to discredit the information that flows on the free on the information highway freely. So what they're trying to say if it's if it's not coming from 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 Fox, CNN, ABC, NBC, then it's not credible. Anything that comes from Esau Edom is not credible. All right. And one thing that America does not want is a well informed or well prepared nation, and people are getting informed and prepared. So if you try to pull it back and do it again, the people will be more prepared. So I believe that they're going to act and keep going with this thing and not let up. Verse 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgments reaches unto the heaven and it's lifted up even to the skies. And lots of people have left America and are going back, especially the elites. A lot of people from America have left also to go hide in their luxury bunkers and go to their, their neutral places. And so, you know, there's a reason why most of those luxury bunkers were built in, um, in New Zealand, because that's a neutral place where probably won't be any missiles flying to when, all, when this whole thing goes down all the way down. So it's funny how Esau Edom, the so-called white man, can cause all this problem, you know, cause all this death and destruction of, 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 of uh, economies and countries and life, and then go try to hide, when, you know, from his own mess and come out of his hole and try to inherit whatever's left when he's the cause of it being destroyed. Well, the Lord's got different plans, you know. This is, uh, let's go to the book of Isaiah. And let's read 13 and 14, and it reads, actually, I'm going to start at verse, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And the wicked is Esau, Edom. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible because they, they are terrible. And they are haughty and proud. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even more than the golden wedge of Ophir. So, you know, men of the Lord are going to be made precious. All right. Why? Because they're going to have that covering and many of them are going to get that power. All right. And in the day of our power, I, our people will be willing. The women will get in order. They won't mind. They won't care if they're the first, second, third. Tenth wife, they won't care. All right, you won't get any grief in, 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 you know, with that sort of thing. They're just gonna want to be covered by your name, as the scripture says, to take away their. Matter of fact, let me just read it because you know you always got someone new that doesn't know. But this is the day, and we're we're fastly approaching that day, man. All right, because if you're left out here with all these wild inmates and. And crazy people trying to take food, water, supplies from people, you know. It's going to be get bad for a lot of women and a lot of people out here. But this is Isaiah uh, 4 and 1. And it reads, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread 
and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So the woman's reproach is going to be taken away by the righteous man of the Lord. Point blank, period. All right, you won't find a scripture to dispute that. All right, if you don't believe that, then you're just going to be a victim of it. Point blank, period. All right. Back to uh, chapter 13. And uh, 13 and 13. Therefore, Isaiah 13 and 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and earth and shall remove her out of her place. And in the wrath of Yahweh of hosts and in the day of, of his fierce anger. And it shall be as a chaste rope and as a deer no man taketh up. And they shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. So people are going to turn to their own kind as society society begins to break down you know it's just like when people go to prison people tend to to mingle among those that look like them not that they're necessarily safe it's just probably a little bit safer you know because of the way they set it up but this place is going to burn all the nations of the world something is going to happen because to where all the nations of the world are going to turn on America and this 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 man-made virus that came out of America this and and this and the crash of the dollar and all these things well the nations are angry with the beast and this is a uh, second Peter 3 and 9 and it reads Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise and some men count slackness but his long suffering to us were because it seemed like it took a lifetime from the time that I woke up to get to where we are. And truth truth the matter, it did. <laughs> okay. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, which is talking about the Israelites, man. But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, and in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. The, the and that, this heavens is, is really talking about the the the, the power structures. Because heaven is rulership, man. The rulership of Esau Edom is, is, it has to be. Because if, if Esau is not brought out of power, there'll be no flesh left to save. All men will die. All animals will die. The world, the seas, the water, the, the forest, the jungles, everything would die, man. All right? But it says, verse 10, But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also and the works therein shall be burned up. All right. And so the whole world is not going to burn. Just Babylon is going to burn according to the scriptures. So let's let a little bit of this world, this uh, video play. Or are in a global depression already soon to see some of the deepest contractions the United States has ever seen to their GDP. We have a really serious issue, and it's that we've not been able to generate GDP growth in decades. Ever since they performed this quantitative ease in the U.S. has been mired in a depression. We have not been growing, we've not been expanding, and this is the inevitable result of QE. What is it that these banks believe that QE is going to do to be able to generate GDP growth? Ask Japan if it works. I believe that this crash is going to be so severe that we will not recognize the United States on the other end of this. That we're not going to recognize this country anymore and that a new power structure is going to assume control of this great and once free nation. Now, well, he's half right. You're not going to recognize America because America's going to be one gigantic desert. A dust bowl. That's the only thing that's going to be left when everything is in it is destroyed. And there is going to be a new power structure in the world. And it's not going to be China or Russia or any nation outside of the Israelites. This is uh, Daniel 7 and verse 18. And it reads, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. Forever, even forever and ever. So you have an everlasting kingdom. The, the kingdom of heaven shall be here on earth. And it shall be ruled over by 
who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who is Yahweh Shai, and sitting on his throne is, is, is going to be King David, and the rest of the 12, and then the governing body of the 144,000 are going to rule over this world for eternity in a righteous in a righteous earth and they're going to be like gods just as the scripture says in in uh in uh Psalms 86 and 2 all right if i'm not mistaken and they're going to rule forever and ever and ever and it's going to going to forever be peace on earth no more wars no more sickness none of that no more viruses so with that, we we'll give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, Wa Ababa Ba. Shalom.